Okay, so, so far in the last chapter and in this chapter, we are looking at the impact of any x variable on uh, y variable. And uh, these beta coefficients or estimated slow parameters, they show us uh, the impact of any particular x variable on y variable. In nutshell, these beta coefficients or these estimated slope coefficients, they show us three types of things. The first, what is the direction of the relationship between x and y? That is when x increases, whether y increases or decreases. That will be shown by the plus or minus sign associated with the, this beta coefficient. So that will be the direction of the relationship. The next thing that they show, they show the magnitude of the relationship. That is when x increases by one unit, how much y increases or decreases. That is shown by the value of this beta coefficient. And the third thing that this beta coefficient shows that whether the relationship between x and y, it is statistically significant. So this is the summary of uh, whatever we saw so far. So here are some guidelines of discussing the economic and practical and statistical significance of uh, these uh, beta coefficients or slope parameters. If the variable is statistically significant, then you should go ahead and start talking about their magnitude, talk about the direction of the relationship, and talk about the practical importance of uh, x variable in determining the y variable. One thing to note here is that uh, statistical significance alone, it does not give you how important x variable is in determining y variable or how large is the impact of x variable on y variable. Even if a variable is statistically significant at 1%, then it doesn't mean that it has uh, an important and uh, large impact on y. That's number two. Sometimes you will see that a variable is statistically and economically important but has a wrong sign. For example, we all know that as education increases, wages should increase as well. So we expect this relationship to be positive. If you find a relationship that education is having a negative effect on um, wages, you will find a wrong sign here. It means that your model is uh, misspecified and you have to look into your model. On the other hand, if a variable is statistically insignificant at uh, 10%, 5% or 1%, one may think about dropping that variable from the model. But uh, sometimes you can still talk about uh, the expected sign of uh, that beta coefficient. So these are the usual uh, level of significance or alphas that we uh, use. If a variable is not statistically significant at 10%, you may drop that variable. And if your sample size is small, you should probably start thinking about uh, getting more information from, by increasing your sample size rather than dropping insignificant variables from the model. So these are a couple of guidelines for interpreting uh, these uh, beta coefficient and essentially that was the point of this whole class that I want to see what is the impact of or the causal impact of any particular x variable on y variable which can be discussed using these three points. The first is the direction of the relationship between x and y. Number two is the magnitude of the relationship and number three is the statistical significance of uh, that relationship. In the next video, I'm going to show you two examples uh, where you will see that sometimes uh, a statistically significant variable is not economically significant and sometimes economically significant variables are not statistically significant. So we'll see these uh, examples in the next video. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.